Okay, in this problem we're given a function r of u, v to find as the first component is u squared plus v squared, second component is u, and the third is v. And we're given the point uh, u zero, u sub naught, v sub naught at is one, two. And we wanted to determine for part a if r is a regular parameterization at, or is regular at one, two. And we want to describe the tangent set parametrically, and we want to describe the tangent set as level set. Okay, so first to determine if r is regular, we'll take the partial derivatives of r. So we have r sub u is 2u, 1, 0, r sub v is 2v, 0, 1, and we'll take it at the point 1, 2, so So we're given, we get that r sub u at 1, 2 is the vector 2, 1, 0. r sub v at 1, 2 is 4, 0, 1. And we want to determine if these two are a linear combination of each other. So um, let's say a times 2, 1, 0 plus b times 4, 0, 1. And we want to see if there are a and b that are not both equal to zero, such that we get the zero vector. So if we look at this, we see that the second component is zero in this term and one in this term. So in order for the second component to be zero, we get that a equals zero. And in order for the third component to be zero, we have a zero from this term and b in the second term, so that implies that b is zero. But we wanted to find a and b such that they're not both zero, but in order for this to be satisfied, a and b both have to be zero. So we know that um, r is regular at the point one, two, and we can describe the tangent set in the following way. or rather the tangent space we'll describe in the following way. Just as a linear combination of those two, a times the first times r sub u at one zero, and add that to b times r sub b at one, zero, one two. And so now we want, now we have our tangent space which is a set of vectors, but we want to shift this to our point in, to our point r at 1, 2. So r at 1, 2 is 5, 1, 2 by just plugging in 1, 2 into the equation for r of u, v. And now to shift the tangent space to this point, we'll just add 5, 1, 2. So we have our set of points x, y, z is the tangent plane where a and b are arbitrary parameters and they're given as a linear combination and adjusted to the point five one two. Okay, so that's our part B. And now we want to describe the tangent plane as a level set. So for this we'll take the cross product
we'll take the cross product of r sub u at 1, 2 and r sub v at 1, 2. So we have So we take the, uh, the determinant of the following matrix and we get I and then we get minus a 2j and finally we get a minus 4 so we have our cross product of RU cross RV is 1, negative 2, negative 4. And so we want to multiply this cross product. times point x minus r of u, or r of u not v not, and set that equal to zero. So this is our tangent plane as a level set. We can expand this term. So we have 1, negative 2, negative 4 times x minus or r of u0 v0 is 512. So x minus 5, y minus 1, z minus 2 equals 0. And we can take the dot product. It's just 1 times x minus 5 negative 2 times the quantity y minus 1, and negative 4 times the quantity z minus 2. And I'll just write that up here. And we get our tangent plane as a level set for our part C is x minus 5 minus 2 times y minus 1 minus 4 times z minus 2 equals 0. So that's our tangent plane as a level set. And we found our tangent plane parametrically and also that made sure that r is regular.